Hey, welcome back. Uh, let's take a look at all the little random projects I have today. Um, there's a lot of things going on, but basically a lot of waiting around for nothing because, you know, shortages of uh, parts, supply chain issues, everything's slow. Just gotta wait. Nothing to do. Check this out. I got a new wheeled object. This is an in-motion V11, and I've been learning how to ride this. It seems pretty fun. So just, I don't know if I can show you without dying here. I've never done it well on camera. Before we go any further first, let's take a look at the specs of this little guy. Uh, it's a pretty chunky little wheel. It has a claimed range of like around 60 something miles. I've seen 75 somewhere, but you know, it probably depends on your terrain, how heavy you are, or, or how fast you're going, that kind of stuff. It has a 2200 watt motor. It has a 1500 watt hour battery, 84 volts. It has a top speed of 31 miles per hour. Ooh. Apparently there's a little bit more you can unlock in the app. I haven't figured that part out. I think I have it unlocked all the way. It can go up something like 35 degrees. It has an 18 inch wheel. That's a big wheel. Perfect for the roads around here because there's so many cracks and potholes all over the ground. The best part, there's suspension. There's an adjustable air suspension, so you can adjust it for how much rebound and dampening and whatnot. I can demonstrate that real quick by standing on it. See? Right now, there's no uh, pressure in the negative chamber, so it's really springy on the rebound. I gotta do that and adjust it. But for now, that's what it's at. It's very bouncy. It's got like three, 3.3 inch or something of uh, suspension travel up and down. This thing is pretty heavy. It weighs a good chunk of weight. It's over 60 pounds. It's somewhere 60, 65 pounds like that. I guess it's mostly its batteries and everything that's so heavy along with the, the motor. It's manageable, but at first it's like, whoa, that's a lot. However, you're usually never carrying it. So there's no reason for that to be a problem. Maybe if you live somewhere where you got to lug it up a bunch of stairs, that's not pleasant. It's got a little fold up handle. You press the button here and it pops out. So now you don't have to hunch over and you can just walk it around with you because it's at your hip height. This handle's pretty handy. Okay, pull this down. There's different accessories you can get. I, I have this pad that I'm gonna put here so it can hold my leg better. Um, I'm gonna adjust the suspension so I don't get bounced off of it. If I jump like a decent hole or like a curb or something, when this rebounds, my feet like get bounced off of the pads and that's really sketchy because I can't grip this, this is so smooth. Uh, I will also adjust the rebound. Hopefully that will help with this. And then I can increase my riding capabilities once I'm done with that. There's an LED running light. You press this button once, it'll turn on the light brighter. Light turn on. on. Yeah, it even tells you. There's a nice little lady that'll talk to you. Light off. Light on. Light off. Yeah. <laughs> when you're braking, the brake lights know you're braking and it'll flash. So that's nice and safe, especially if you're riding at night. Uh, as you can see, I've already crashed it a bunch of times, like a chunk eaten out of that protective stuff. The foot rests can fold up. They're also all scuffed up. Same with both sides, so it's nice and sleek when you wheel it around. They easily fold back down. Uh, when you turn it off, see you. it no longer balances, so you can fold the kickstand down and just lay it like this. It's probably the world's worst kickstand. It doesn't take much to to knock this thing over. Whoa! Yeah, I guess that's probably where the 60 pounds is bad. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get going. Alright, I got on. Whee! Pretty nifty. So I've been learning how to ride this thing. And I'm finally figuring out how to turn it decently. But it's pretty nice. It's like a hoverboard, but with one wheel. So the idea here is uh, I can use this to quickly put around my town and get like little stuff like takeout, food, whatever, or just for fun, you know? It's kind of fun. So, yep, as you can see, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and no helmet, nothing but I have enough confidence not to fall and die on it. Uh, you should probably wear some protection just in case because falling off of this does not look fun. See you. 
I have not fallen on there, thankfully. But it's kind of like a hoverboard if you've ever ridden one of those before, like the little kids' little two-foot things. It's exactly the same to ride it. It's just a little bit different because the foot pedals are so high up. I believe that's a, those are like six or eight inches off the ground. And off, obviously it's one wheel, so you could tip left or right and fall over. You couldn't really do that on the hoverboard. You just had to control yourself and not fall forward or backwards. For the most part, they were okay. And I've seen people crash those and yeah, you go splat too. It's not much, it's not much different. Welcome. top speed here. Woo! <laughs> Alright, I got I got a peak of 24. So this thing's supposed to be able to do 31, maybe 30, something like that. Um I don't think I know how to ride it fast enough yet. But you know, honestly, 22, that's plenty fast. Controlled, you just lean back a little bit and it slows you down. See, I'm going much slower now. So, accelerate, slow down. Ooh, this is the main street here. Gotta make sure I look both ways so I don't go flat. One week later. I think I figured it out. I know how to ride this thing now. What I ended up learning on my own was this is incorrect. My weight is too far rearward, and that's why I couldn't accelerate to just keep myself balanced to roll away without assistance. I learned that my shin should line up with the center of the, of the unit here, and that leaves my foot like this. And this has gotten me to take off every time without any struggle. Um, it does make braking a little bit harder. Maybe I have to adjust my foot once I get going, uh, but I'm working on it. I'll probably figure it out and just balance it out myself regardless of how my foot is. I've seen people ride these with like one foot and I've seen people sit and ride them because you can get like a seat or you can fabricate your own seat just to put on top. I am not even there yet. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed me tooling around on that EUC. You'll probably see more of that EUC in some random videos where I just need some filler stuff. I'll try to learn some tricks and I can jump some curbs. I've seen some guy ride down the stairs. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to visit my website, anythingwheel.com, for any uh, AutoZam AZ1 and Suzuki Kara goodies. Uh, so far, the best goodie I would say that I have is the originality downpipe. They can still be ordered, they are custom ordered, so you know, there's some build time. The real problem is the catalyst, and that takes the longest if you want a catalyst one. But otherwise, pick yourself up one right now.
Go, go.